today we've been searching around for waves for ages and we've just found this nice point break that's breaking along a pretty intense rock shelf. So today we thought we'd do a video on how to surf rocky or reefy spots to show you how to do it safely and confidently. If you're new here, my name is Kale. I'm a surfer and a filmmaker, and here you'll find all sorts of epic surf content like tutorials to help you surf better, important reviews, and more. So subscribe down below and join me on Instagram at Kale's Broccoli. What I'm looking for to know that this is safe, first of all, I can see a couple of surfers out there, so that generally means that it's a safe wave to surf. I'm also looking for any rocks that show themselves as the wave breaks or just before. You'll be able to see a few sort of boils that occur as the wave is drawing water off the reef or pushing it over it. You can see these sort of mushroom shapes of white water that indicate there's probably like a higher or shallower part of the reef. So I'm looking for those and seeing if they're in the way. But right now, it doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty safe. You'd be surprised at how many surfers come into contact with rocks or reef, not as they're catching waves, but as they paddle out to a rocky or reefy surf break. It's important to analyse the best way to paddle out to the break before you commit to jumping in the water. I've identified here this long, easy stretch of water, which was surprisingly shallow, but safe to make my way out. I can see that there are no submerged rocks, or at least none, that are breaking the surface. I can see that the water is deep enough to paddle out because of its darker colour, but this coloration could be coming from seaweed as well, so as I paddle, I still take my time, constantly looking around a foot or two in front of me for any surprise rocks which I could damage my fins on. Then, as I finally reach the break, I actually have to hop off my board so as to prevent damaging it as I head out to the surf break. Whilst doing this, step very softly. Don't overcommit to a jump or lunge before you know what's beneath you. Tentatively take each step using your board on the water as support before finding a deep spot to jump back on to paddle. Catching an investigation wave is always a good idea at any new surf spot, especially one with rocks and reef beneath the waves. This basically means I've picked an average wave, which I tentatively surf, looking for any major obstacles or rocks along the line of the wave so that I can be informed on later, more risky rides during the session. The safest and least shallow area for a surfer to be in is out on the face of the wave, towards this direction. This is because, naturally, the wave only breaks in shallower water and thus stays unbroken in deeper water, as you can see here watching the waves peel down the point. This is why a surfer should take extra care to avoid the impact zone while surfing a point break style wave like this. When paddling out, paddle out to the break around the waves where you don't have to duck dive, rather than paddling through the white water. This will save you energy, but also ensure you don't get washed backwards into the rocks. So what about other reef or rocky breaks where it's not a point break setup? 
These should always be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. If you can see here in this clip, the rocks are over to the left and so is the main part of the wave. Now I want to avoid those rocks and avoid the impact zone as much as possible, so I'm going to paddle out in this line here. This particular wave breaks very close to the rock ledge and I actually landed on it numerous times throughout the session. It's important to never panic in those scenarios. They are rocks and they are hard and unforgiving, but they're not some infectious disease. Maintain calm and move into a safer area as soon as you can. This is why it's very important to take some time to monitor the waves before you head out so that you have a good strategy in place for your session. Now, if unsure, ask someone kindly and never surf alone. Sometimes a wave will end over a shallow section of the reef or rock. Now this is normal as waves break towards shore. And the most important thing to consider here is how you actually jump off your board never dive head first or pin drop feet first off of a wave unless you are 110% sure it is deep and safe. A much better strategy is to pancake off your board like this so that you can reduce the risk of slamming sharply into the bottom. Oh, it was such a nice session. Uh, sort of the wind was sort of favouring that spot and as I was surfing there were rocks like popping up metres away from me but because the waves are naturally breaking away from them it was really nice and you sort of felt safe the whole time. I've never surfed there before. On the way in though, unfortunately I did um, come into contact with, with a rock that I didn't expect <laughs> which is the price you pay for good waves I guess. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, let me know in the comments what else you want to see, and join me on Instagram at Cal's Broccoli. I'm going to go and get changed, head home for lunch. Yo, see you guys soon. If you guys like this video and are looking for more ways to improve your surfing experience, be sure to check out thesurfersroadmap.com where you'll find some epic online courses to help you on your surfing journey. You can also take a look at my Patreon page where you'll find detailed surf coaching analysis clips every week, plus Q&A sessions with me and much more. The links are in the description below.